Good morning, good evening, good night. Whenever you guys are watching this channel, first subscribe. I purchased this OB2 monitor here a couple of days ago here off Amazon. I read the reviews and the reviews are great. So my daughter been having some problems with her Mercedes, uh, the check engine light has come on. So I'm gonna plug this in and see how it work. Also, I'm gonna check it out on my Tundra 2007. I've been getting that check engine light come on there. So we're gonna unbox this and I'm gonna show you how to use it. All right, here we go. Okay, we're gonna unbox this OBD2. Uh, if your vehicle is compatible, I think a lot of vehicles are, most vehicles are, but uh, I'm gonna show you this manual. And we're gonna, I'm gonna flip through it fairly quickly. And if you would like, you can pause and read some of this stuff, but uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, and if you don't have one of these on hand, you probably should get one and read the reviews and it's good reviews on this i've i've checked uh my daughter's mercedes i checked my couple of trucks and uh it even give you your miles per hour while you're driving this thing is pretty neat so i'm going to walk you through uh, unboxing and this is all that comes with it it do not come with any batteries once you plug it into your connector on your vehicle it will power up from the battery it's that easy like I said, there's no batteries required. And we're gonna go through all of these buttons. You know, you have your up and down, your home, you have your VIN number. It also show you your VIN number. So we're gonna look at my 2020 Tundra. I don't have no check engine light on. I'm gonna just plug it in and just show you how this thing works. And in most vehicles, your connection is right under your steering wheel. And if you look at this 2020 Tundra, I'm gonna zoom down and we'll look at it. There go your connector, this white connector right here. And it can only go one direction. So once you plug it in, as soon as you plug it in, your meter should come off. As you see, I got it plugged in. And my meter came on. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what's going to happen before I turn the key on. You just hit this up or down buttons. You can go to all your different settings and you're just hitting the button. So I'm going to go to this OBD. I'm going to hit the OK button. So it's going through the process and it's going to tell me, hey, it's not connecting. Maybe I need to turn the vehicle on. And as you can see right there, it says verify that the unit, uh, make sure the ignition is on, mine is not on. So that's why I didn't get any kind of readings. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna reach across and I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. You don't have to start the vehicle up, just turn it to the on position. Once you turn it on, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna hit the OBD again. I'm gonna hit okay. And it's gonna go through the process. And you notice I don't have no error codes, so I don't have any uh, found errors. So if it don't have any errors, you can just unplug it or hit the back button. But I'm going to go through a few of these, these things. You can see you can erase the code. I don't have any codes. Or you can view it and freeze it. Or you can go through other type of uh, things on here. It's real simple. Okay, you can go right here and you can set your the, like your settings and your English or you can go whatever. We're going to click English. It was already set. You go to unit, unit of measurements Mine's was on metrics, so I'm going to put it to English and hit OK. And you can go to your contrast down there. If your lighting is too bright, you can go to number three down here and hit that. And you can adjust it with the up and down button. Once you're done, you can hit OK. And hit the back button and exit out. Then you can unplug it. So let's check my 2007 Tundra. I know what's wrong with it. When my catalytic converter got stolen, it did mess. They did cut my oxygen sensors. I got the catalytic converter replaced, but as you can see, that check engine light is still on. It's because that computer module 
is messed up inside. I think it shorted something out when they cut the sensors and it shorted my old two sensors out there in my computer. So I'm gonna have to get the computer changed. But if I plug this up, as you can see, and I hit the up and make sure it's turned on, okay? Make sure the power is on. And then you go up, and then you hit the OBD, hit okay. And it's gonna run the scan. And I took this to AutoZone and it had this same code. So this thing works really good. I even took it to uh, the Tundra dealership and it had the same code. So we're gonna hit read code. As you can see that P0157, it says the oxygen sensor. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase that code hit yes and what it's done it erased the code so when we look at my check engine light again you're gonna notice that that engine light has went off so I cleared the code so you can go back and mess with a lot of these other settings you can see your band numbers like I said you can see your miles per hour while you are driving if you have this thing plugged in and as you see I checked the code it's no code now because I erased it no codes are stored so you go back and just go ahead and uh, unplug this thing we're gonna look and see if the code uh, the check engine light is still on as you notice the check engine light is off but after I drove this thing for about 20 miles it came back on because I know I need to get that computer module replaced don't forget to subscribe like Turn on your notifications and share this video. Also leave comments. Thanks for watching. Welding and stuff.